How do YouTube? Uh, Brad Allen here. Uh, been sick for the past couple days. Been trying to get off my duff and take care of some things that I've been needing to take care of. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of my leather stuff out. I've been working on a project today for a new friend that I've made recently on YouTube. Um, his name's Nick Harland. Um, he lives in uh, freaking goodness gracious Canada. And uh, he does a whole bunch of camp out videos and like kayaking, not kayaking, but canoeing down a couple rivers there where he stays. And he gets some amazing video of that and a few eagle videos and stuff like that where he's caught him out in the wild. But um, he commit, I, I got a commission through him to make a couple leather sheaths. Um, he has a more. Uh, carving knife that he had sent me that he wanted a small sheath for and as well he sent me a um, Baco Laplander and he's wanting me to make a sheath for this as well but um, I'm able to keep this one when I'm done that way I have a saw to make a template off of for future work and as well I now own a new Laplander for myself to go camping with and I feel like that was a very generous touch. Um, Nick, man, I was going to have more video to this, man, but to be honest, I've been sick as a dog, and I haven't been wanting to fool with the camera too much today, but um, you can see kind of on the template over here, this was been cut up and all messed up through the process, but this is what I started off with. And I don't know if you can see in this picture. Let me get away from my T here, prop that up. But uh, if you look at this, it's an N and then an H and it's kind of made out of like some curly little vine work and um, it's like some little flower buds it's really hard to see in the lighting that I have here since it's been folded over but added like some little berry look in there like some little flowers but it's your initials but it's really hard to see when it's folded over like this but when you receive it in the mail you'll be able to see it um, I just stitched everything up with the normal red stitching that I always use and burnished all the edges up really good. Um, let me see if I can show you how this will fit. Well, my fat finger got in the way and hit the button, but I was in the middle of saying, let me see if I can show you how this fits. Um, one thing that did happen is, I don't know if you can see on here, Nick, there's a little, little scuff on here from where the little bit of the dried stain on the inside of it stuck to it but um, after I checked the fit after everything was dried up but it still rubbed on there just a little bit um, sorry about that but I'd imagine you're probably gonna put some linseed oil on this or something this is brand new so I don't think that's gonna affect it too bad but uh let me get this little thing off of here. Yeah, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Um, it is wet for wet molded. Um, let's see here. Well, crap. Let's do this. And there's that. Wish I could get better lighting on it but let's see here if I can tilt just a little bit ah, you can't it's so hard to see it reflects so much light it's so shiny this chocolate brown with the um, the leather finish on it made it extra shiny but it's really hard to capture the detail in it, man. But I, I'd imagine you like this. Got it stitched. A nice welt through there. There's that. I didn't put any strap attachments or anything to it. Um, or anything, because you said that this was going to be just something that you put in your pack. But there's that one, brother. I hope you like this so far. I know this was probably kind of a real spotty video but like I said y'all man I'm not feeling that great and I just wanted to spend some time today finishing up this um, Nick's a very generous dude with 
the saw that he sent me. I can't wait to use this, but you know, I took the day off of work to get a little rest, and I felt like if I was able to get up and watch TV, I was able to do a little bit of leather work since all that requires is me sitting down. So, here's this one, brother. Um, I hope you like it, and I'll be working on the Laplander sheath very soon, and that one I promise I'll get more video of. So, there's that part so far, y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.